Many of you know that a number of years ago, while we were teaching a Bible study, robbers came to our house and they raped our daughter. When we came home, we found what happened. We were devastated. On the way down to pick her up from the dorm where she was taken, I was struggling. I was asking God, why did you allow this to happen to our daughter? Why not to me? And then I thought, why should I follow God? What if I just turn away from Him? He didn't protect our daughter. But then I thought, but God's my life. If I leave Him, where will I go? In the midst of my struggle, and my husband was also struggling, I didn't know, God spoke to me. And He said, Diana, will you trust me even with this? that I will cause it to work out for good. Now, I've shared that, but I have not shared what I told God. I struggled and I said, okay, God, I know that you're making a promise and you're a God who does not lie. And so I will trust you. But like Jacob, I will hold on to that promise and I will not let you go until I see the fulfillment in my daughter's life. That night we saw our daughter, she cried. And she told us that she was raped by seven men at gunpoint and knife point. And I thought, how will she ever recover from this? She will be a basket case. We cried together. We hugged. I slept hugging her all night. And the next day, I began to see what God was going to do because he said he'd use it for good. And the first thing, she came to us and she said, Mom, Dad, I know God is sovereign. He could have stopped the rape, but he didn't. But she said, I know God loves me. And because he loves me, I will trust him. At 15 years old, he gave her grace to trust him. You know, God gave me other promises as, as I prayed and read the Bible. One promise he said is, you know, Diana, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That was John 10, 10. That was Satan coming into our house in the robbers. But he said, I have come to give life, and I will give it abundantly. And then he told me, as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace, and uh, they, they were not destroyed, they were not damaged. In fact, Jesus was there with them in the furnace. He said, in the same way, your daughter will not smell of smoke, she will not be sinned, she will not be damaged. And then he said another promise, what has happened to your family, to your daughter, will go around the world to be a blessing. 27 years later, I stand here to tell you that God is so faithful. He has fulfilled His promise. She was interviewed on 700 Club, and that went around the world. And 700 Club told us that more people called in to receive Jesus Christ that night than any other time and their other showings. Praise God. And then, Joy had this burden to write a book to let people know that no matter what has happened to you, that God will use it for good and he will, you will not be destroyed by it, that there is hope in Jesus. You know, today, she was just here today with her six kids. She lives not as a victim, but she lives as a victor in Jesus Christ because she trusted in his promises. And I'm telling you, whatever is happening to you, God makes you a promise. He will cause it to work together for good. He does not lie. Believe him. God bless you.